Alastair McGibbon, the Chief Strategy Officer at CyberCX and the former National Cybersecurity Advisor to Government himself. Alistair, great to see you as always. This idea of a coordinator of the government's cybersecurity, how do you see this? Is this basically reinvigorating previous roles? Yeah, Karen, it strikes me that the Home Affairs Minister has said that she was frustrated at the lack of uh, certain capabilities inside the bureaucracy in Canberra and uh, she has, and the Prime Minister have seen fit to uh, create this position, uh, which is designed, it seems, to help coordinate federal government assistance to organisations during a cyber crisis and hopefully help them also navigate the labyrinthine nature of government bureaucracy, including statutory authorities. So I guess a, a one port of call for business particularly to be able to, to access. More broadly, what's your read on what the government's proposing here? Are they, have they got it right, at least in terms of the direction they're talking about? Well, I'll use the word direction uh, that you just used, Kieran, and say directionally uh, it seems correct. Uh, it's great to have a Prime Minister, another Prime Minister, come out and talk about the importance of cybersecurity. It's great to have a cybersecurity minister in Cabinet. That's the first time, obviously, an Australian government has had that. And this seems directionally correct, as in let's have a coordinated help bring together uh, the parts of government to assist it's really good that it's outside of the intelligence and the defence community because, let's face it, the vast bulk of critical infrastructure and businesses that matter to Australians are actually in the private sector. Uh, and the Minister has talked about legislative reform, uh, which she sees as the next important step. I would ask at some point whether or not this coordinator should be a statutory authority, have a lawful responsibility for acts um, and a regulatory function, set standards and check those standards are being met and then help coordinate government that way. Uh, but I would say, to answer your question, yeah, directionally it would seem correct. So when you say, just to explain that, the statutory authority, are you saying it should be outside of the Department of Home Affairs? Well, it could still sit inside Home Affairs, but if it was a statutory person within there. They have their own legal obligations to ensure that Acts of Parliament are maintained. It would put it on the status of, say, the eSafety Commissioner um, or the ACCC or other bodies that have that regulatory role, but they're statutory entities in their own right, and therefore seen not to be political and have more sway when it comes to doing the business that they're doing. Um, We've got uh, Admiral Mike Rogers in town at the moment, former director of the NSA. He's been on Sky in the last week. He made a good point today here in Perth. He said, bureaucracies often like just to perpetuate what bureaucracies have done in the past, and we need to be cautious of not doing that when it comes to cyber, because we know that our efforts to date have not been effective enough. So we do need to try new things. One of those potential avenues is the concept of a regulatory authority to do with cyber security and resilience in this country. There's talk um, as well, the, the, the discussion paper from Andy Penn and the other experts that have put this together for the government, suggesting that possibly customer data be included in the definition of uh, the critical infrastructure or security of critical infrastructure. Do you think that that, that area which would take in a whole heap more businesses should be considered under that framework or is there another approach you think the government should adopt? Well, there's no doubt, of course, that Optus and Medibank uh, last year showed us how important data was and it was so impactful to the broader Australian community. So I can understand why that might be said and obviously I haven't had a chance to, uh, to either talk to Andy or to read... Uh, uh, what he's proposing. I would urge a little bit of caution. There has been a Privacy Act review. That's the findings of that review and the recommendations, my understanding, is a sitting on the Attorney General's desk. That will clearly see a tightening of regulations in this country around 
data, and I think the public agrees that's a good thing. We've already seen penalties increase massively. Now it'll be how is that data collected and handled and retained? Really good stuff. I'd like to see how that plays out. I can understand the Minister's frustration that the critical infrastructure legislation that was passed by the former government, supported by the now government at the time, uh, wasn't necessarily able to be used in those incidents. But we need to be careful that this is not all just about a regulatory or legislative response. The vast bulk of these matters yeah. are going to be handled by the private sector for the private sector. We need to be uh, cautious and careful about how much more of a legislative framework we place around uh, what business has to do. But uh, I, I guess the devil's in the detail. We'll see as that, uh, as that debate unfolds. And in broad terms, Alistair, just finally, how do we stack up internationally on cyber security? Well, I described cyber security and how we compete as a country as a bit like a marathon. I think there are times when we've been near the front of the pack. Um, the Home Affairs Minister has made it clear that she thinks we've slipped behind. Um, I'd like to think that we're amongst the top tier of Western nations that rely very heavily upon technologies and have tried to be pretty innovative on our legislative and governmental responses. Uh, it's great to have that ambition of being the most cyber secure country on earth. Um, I've said before, I'd be happy to see us just at the front of that pack. We learn things from other countries. They pass laws. We work at if they're any good, we, uh, we implement them here. Um, mm. They look at us as leaders in other ways. So I'd say net net, Kieran, we're pretty good. Uh, but we see what happens when cyber threats are realised. Uh, so it's important that we never uh, lose uh, sort of sight of the need for us to constantly be running and running forward to try to be, uh, to be pretty resilient.